Hi, I'm Larry Kreider. This is Laverne Kreider, and we, in a few months, will be married 50 years. We met, or at least I saw Laverne for the first time in high school, and I remember you weren't too excited about yeah. what you saw. I remember <laughs> walking behind him in high school. He had white socks on, and it wasn't the style to wear white socks. And I remember a bunch of us girls laughing at him. So, so you know, that's how yeah. it all started. Yeah. So, I mean, so bottom line was, I was wearing white socks. Nobody did that. And because we didn't have a lot of money in our family and just the way it was. And I remember finally I was able the next year to change yeah. socks, get the right kind of socks, went back to school and the whole style changed. So I was hurting the next year too. And we just started to build a friendship. So I wouldn't say we fell in love at that point, but we were building a friendship relationship and I wasn't really serving the Lord. Yeah. Laverne's influence on me. That's true. Uh, yeah. Really, that's how I really came to know Jesus as the Lord of my life, King of my life, and totally revolutionized my life. I remember the time it happened. I said, if you die, would you go to heaven? He goes, well, I'm not sure. I said, nobody yeah. knows that. Yeah. She said, I do. And then and she was right. that night he went home and he, he often tells right. his story. He had an encounter with the Lord. Right. I had surrendered that relationship that night because I, I knew if he wasn't going to serve the Lord, I knew I would have to break up with him. He came back the next morning. We were going to go to church services and I could tell he was different. So it wasn't long until we, our hearts were just so much for the Lord. Yeah. Youth yeah. groups and, you know, yeah. Bible studies. And, and then we became missionaries. So the first year of our marriage, the day I turned 21, we were in Johns Island. Yeah. And then we, so for one whole year, that's what we did. That was the beginning of our married life. Probably five or six years after we were married, it was really hard. I mean, we thought we married the wrong person. I was in full-time uh, a partnership with my father on a farm, working in business. We were doing youth ministry, mm -hmm. and we just didn't take time for mm -hmm. each other. It was a difficult time. I mean, I remember thinking, I, I, is this marriage going to work? You know, was that... It was that yeah. difficult. We just knew we needed to get help. So we went to a professional counselor, a Christian counselor, and it changed, uh, yeah. changed just the, our whole journey, you Lo know. Looking back, yeah. I remember, uh, we were sitting there in two separate chairs yeah. and we were just pouring our hearts out. And the pride in me, I was kind of saying, well, she's got the issue, so yeah. it's good for him to see what I go through. She's <laughs> her crying. Yeah. And then he looked at me and he said, well, sit closer to your wife, put your arm around her. And I'm thinking, buddy, you know, she has the issues. <laughs> And so I did. I moved over, put my arm around her. And all at once, I realized yeah. God gave me this beautiful woman, this gift from God. I realized, no, she wasn't the issue. I had so many things to deal with myself. I was in many ways the issue. Yeah. And it, it was at that moment, you know, I mean, it, it took time, but at that moment, something shifted, I think, specifically in you, too, yeah. in your, uh, in your heart. Time. And we just started working at communicating and hearing each other's hearts and yeah. yeah. And honestly, I look back now, I realize often I tried to fix Laverne. And she'd yeah. come to me with something. I'd say, well, I give her scripture, you know. <laughs> she said, I don't want scripture. Just listen to me. Yeah. You don't have to fix me. You don't have to have an answer. Yeah. Just listen. It changed yeah. my life. It really yeah. did. Yeah. It changed our lives together. Yeah. Okay. And we look back now, we realize there's a strategy from hell to destroy our marriage. Yeah. And had our marriage been destroyed, yeah. then many of the things God had called yeah. us to do would have never uh, happened. Yeah, it's so clear. We see it clearly now. Yeah. And it was back long before we ever dreamed we'd be pastoring or anything yeah. like that. But that's what was going on. Yeah. I think one of the things as we look back on our journey, don't panic through the hard times. Back in you know the mid-70s when our marriage was just such a mess, we stayed the course right. uh, and not panic, but we got help. Yeah. I just encourage couples, just humble yourself and get help, whatever that means. Don't just sit with your pride, humble yourself. Therefore, in the mighty hand of God, that he can exalt you and lift you up. There's this place of saying, yes, I'll get help. I look back now, the hard times we went through is where we really, Grew in, grew in God each other, yeah. with each other, and brought brought a, a credible compassion. I think we also it, it brings a sense of we don't have it together, and we never have to. We don't have to have it all the answers. This is a journey. Yep. It is an incredible journey of, of walking together. We're all yeah. learning, we're, we're all, all growing in this whole process. And looking back, I think we often say we're glad we went to a professional counselor, somebody yeah. who really understood yeah. marriage, understood how to handle conflict, yeah. all those things. Yeah. And we're glad we did that. Yeah. Uh, and it's good to have friends and many people in the church, mm -hmm. and, and that's all wonderful. Uh, but it was good but for us to get professional counseling. Sometimes there's a need, counseling. you know, just, yeah. and I think the key is humility. 
Just say, okay, what do we need here? And we're gonna fight for our marriage, you know, because God is something so far greater than we can imagine to see us develop this oneness in our yeah. lives. And, and I don't, and, I don't yeah. want it to sound so spiritual, you know, but it is, there it is, is something spiritual. incredibly powerful the Lord wants to do in our marriages. I'm so convinced. And we are very aware every marriage is different. Yeah. This is just our story, what mm -hmm. God's done with us. Yeah. And we look back after 50 years, we think, man, God, you are yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, God's really, really blessed. Yeah. And, and even now, 50 years, we, I've told many people, yeah. we really are more in love today oh, yeah. than we ever were before. Yeah, it's just, and we see, again, how the enemy tried to destroy us yeah. after six years. But because yeah. of God's grace, we're here today to tell the story.